information is okay, so bikes, it's Friday. Flown, Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's week. Friday is going well right now. You know what I'm saying? Start the day off right. The Q tip Fridays. You know what I'm saying? Q tip Fridays. Every Friday, you know, rant, talk about some dope shit. You know, I'm on the way to the gym right now. You know, gotta get the workout in. Gotta keep, you know, the mind right, the body feeling good, looking good. You know, you can't be aging and aging bad you know what i'm saying like I'm, I'm i'm 31 now but shit like i look good you know what i'm saying like i'm not no wrinkles nothing like you know so that's just me taking care of myself so like that's like a little tip real quick but today's topic is called um stop letting people box you in like stop letting people box you in what i mean by that is stop making people feel like you're only supposed to be doing one thing and one thing only besides that you're not even supposed to be venturing off into anything else and at times like when a person can't take up for themselves like they stay boxed in you know what i'm saying like with, like even like like when it comes to me like um i i don't want to be known for just a trader, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm known for, right? as far as, like, that's, like, my main forte, that's, like, my bread and butter, but I want to be known as, like, an entrepreneur, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do a lot of things, like, yeah, like, but, like, what do you do? I do a lot, you know, I do a lot, but mainly, like, what I'm known for is trading, but it's, like, you could be good at so many other things, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many other things to explore, there's so many other things to venture, and, I feel like that's the exciting thing about life. But like when when you make a person box you in, you make you make others feel like yo, like you're not supposed to go outside of what you're known for. And I feel like that that shit is the most wackest thing because um you could, you might be a person of many talents. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like it's like a person that's playing basketball. Oh, don't play football. Like you're not supposed to be playing football. Oh my god. Like, you know? No, nah, like you might be good at football too. You know like you might be good at so many other things. Oh, don't golf. Like, you're you're this. Like, you're a, a designer. Like, why are you golfing? You know, like, and it makes you just, if, if you're not strong-minded, you will just stick with just being that one thing that people know you for. But I feel like, you know, life's about just exploring and, and just having the excitement of, of venturing off in something new. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why, like, um, I'll, I'll rather be known as an entrepreneur because I do a lot man you know what I'm saying I love growing businesses I love my my um educational platform I love trading I love marketing you know what I'm saying all kind of shit I'm good at a lot of things I'm good at a lot of things I'm good at marketing people <laughs> this this takes the cake all the time people all say yo Q like you're a marketer you you're a marketer you're not a trader that's why you, your fucking business ain't growing because you don't know how to fucking market. That's for one. So it's kind of like, thanks for telling me that I'm good at what I do. If you can't market your business, then your business is not going to pop. You know what I'm saying? If you can't market, how, how do you plan on getting exposure in anything that you're into? If you can't market, how do you plan on selling yourself? If you have a business, any kind of business, you have to know how to market. So I, I'm good at marketing. I'm good at trading. I'm good at investing. I'm good at, you know what I'm saying, growing businesses. Listen, serial entrepreneur, not just a trader. You know what I'm saying? I do a lot. I do a lot. And that's because I don't let nobody box me in shit. Like when I was, like when I took up um, photography about like four years ago, nobody can't tell me shit. Listen, like... I. I bought this, this bomb ass camera. I'm gonna learn this shit, and then I'm gonna, you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm gonna try to do like, like what I can because at the same time, I feel like when you don't let a person box you in, right? You are able to express your creative side. I feel like to tap into that creative side is not an easy thing to do at all. You know what I'm saying? So when you tap into it. You have to pretty much, you know, stay within that wavelength so you can pretty much execute any project that, that you're into at that point in time. 
You know what I'm saying? Because when it comes down to it, it's not gonna be like every single day that 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 you come up with a brilliant idea and that kind of stuff. Like, damn, like, uh, let me try this, let me try that. But at the same time, like, if it comes across and and you feel passionate about trying something new, then fuck it, try it. Don't let anybody box you in to the point that you're on. You could only do one thing. If you do anything outside of that, you're you're being different. You're changing. No, I'm growing. I'm growing, and that's what it comes. It comes down to, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be, like, that's why, like, um, like trading, trading to me now, trading is second fucking nature. You know what I'm saying? I could trade any day of the week, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, make two thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars in a day. This and that, this and that. Listen, like, that kind of shit is, is there. I don't need to trade every single day, for what? It doesn't excite me as much. So, like, whenever I trade it, it's trading for needing money or like wanting to actually gain money in some kind of way or if a big ass move is coming up and i'm feeling the week and then i'll trade the entire week you know what i'm saying so but it doesn't it doesn't fulfill me at times you know what i'm saying trading doesn't fulfill me all the time and i feel like everyone gets to that point when you've been doing something for so long you know what i'm saying like i don't get excited if i want to catch 30 pips or 50 pips and that kind of stuff. I don't get excited because I've, I've been excited for so long for the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all the things that excite me is um, business development, um, other types of investments, um, projects like the project like that I'm doing with my um, Wall Street Academy 5BC NFT edition. That's fucking exciting. That's that that shit is that shit is exciting. Why? It's something new. It's something that. Um, it's still within my niche, but at the same time, it's, it's it's a new product. It's something fresh. You know what I'm saying? It's just like developing something from scratch is like it is it it kind of brings that creative side out of you. You know what I'm saying? I had to come up, I had to like really really tap into that creative side to even develop this project. You know what I'm saying? And and if I actually stuck with being stuck in a box. I, w- I would just be making money off trading. You know what I'm saying? I would just be making money off just trading. I I wouldn't be making money off anything else. You know what I'm saying? I'm a good trader. I'm a good teacher. I'm a good investor. I'm a good entrepreneur overall. You know what I'm saying? Good marketer. Everything. And, and like when some of these aspects of, of things are lacking, that's exactly why. Like I said, that's why a lot, a lot of people don't grow fucking businesses. I'm saying every single person that you know has like you know like a an educational program like right now and that kind of stuff like you know a lot of these traders that have like educational programs like you know the the um, new upcoming people and that kind of stuff like yo listen a lot of them are mediocre as fuck you know but they hate on people that is good at what they do and good at expressing the, their brand look at FIP FIP would not be where it's at if we weren't able to market our product, to market our brand, to get our shit out there, to let people know, like, yo, this is us, you know? And to be able to actually express, you know, who you are in a certain niche and that kind of stuff, that's a part of marketing. That's a part of just, like, really put, putting putting yourself out there, you know? Walk in a room and sell yourself. Walk in a room and take over over that shit. You have to be able to pretty much sell yourself. You know what I'm saying? Show like, yo, this is this is what makes me stand out. And when you're able to do that, er- everything else grows. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that you're good at the uh, main factors that everything's based around. But but besides that, like, it's I feel like it's it's a part of entrepreneurship. No top entrepreneur doesn't know how to market. You gotta pretty much be able to put put yourself out there, put yourself on the table so people can actually see what you're about. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I was driving and I'm just like, yo, you know what? This is the fucking topic. So don't make anybody ever lock you into a box. You're more than that. You know what I'm saying? So thanks for, for watching. Q-tip Fridays. I'm gonna holler at you guys next Friday. Peace out.